The Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce held its August breakfast meeting. The focus was on a new dawn for Nigerian non-oil exports. It's no longer news that Nigeria has been rebased as the largest economy in Africa with about $510 billion GDP. But the challenge is she needs to divest her economy from dependency on oil. And this was the focus of this breakfast meeting. I'm particularly happy to offer a platform and be the host of today's breakfast and to have Mr. Sheikh Mawulo as our guest speaker to speak on the topic a new day for Nigerian export. At this forum, the president of the Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce, Prince Adeyemi Adefulu, lamented the challenge that Nigeria, even with a strong diaspora population in the UK, is not harnessing her potentials in terms of export. My study has shown that there are several reasons responsible for failing to tap into this huge opportunity. Let me just mention three. Firstly, is the get rich quick mentality with the old bone syndrome has bestowed on us. Maybe not bestowed, maybe to be dealt Nobody wants to work hard anymore and look long term. Relationships in the international trade take time, consistent application and discipline. Commitments must be taken seriously and respected. Unfortunately, there are not many Nigerian businesses which still hold on to such values. There are not many companies researching into new products or finding new ways of producing old products because these require painstaking efforts. In his presentation on the new dawn for Nigerian non oil exports, Mr. Shegun Nawolowo identified the need for the council to be established and also looked at the various challenges, the potentials the Nigerian economy has in exports and what needs to be done to turn the non-oil exports market to a viable one for the economy. But the largest economy in Africa right now, uh, the current days, and we're number six, six in the world, with a GDP of $510 billion. Now, 40% of that GDP is from natural resources, that is oil and coal. With retail and wholesale trade, the biggest drivers of the GDP growth. So after the, the days we found out that our economy is more diversified than we are taught, Greek agriculture is at 15.9%. And more interestingly, is the services sector cover for 51%, that's IT, entertainment and arts, crafts and fashion, like the president was, was talking about. So they account for 51% of our GDP. Mr. Shegun Awolowo, the CEO of the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, and Prince Adeyemi Adefolu, president of the Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce, give further insight on the theme of the day. I told you that the federal government of Nigeria, from 2005 to, uh, to has spent over 254 billion, you know, in uh, incentives for exporters, for manufacturers, you know, to be able to move uh, Nigerian goods out of Nigeria. So government is, uh, is, is doing uh, a great deal, you know, to support uh, manufacturers in, in export. Well, if the policies are right, I mean, that is a, that's a major market for our products. The Nigerians still like to eat Nigerian food. They like to wear Nigerian clothes. So those things must be available and must be there. So the market is already there. But the fact that you have a market doesn't mean you sell. You still have to get the goods into that market. And you have to uh, incentivize the people who are there you know, to buy. You have to get um, restaurants, Nigerian restaurants, established. But if they know that they will get a regular supply of, um, of materials and what have, those things will happen. Uh, so I believe that you can have a large market, but you may not be reaching it. We can say here that now that Nigeria has realized that there's a dwindling revenue in oil, it is time to divest 
but it's also time to fully utilize the non oil exports potentials to turn it to creative and enhanced growth for the overall well-being of the Nigerians.